Now we will be discussing the bundles of care for ventilator-associated pneumonia or VAP. Are you excited? This time let's focus on different interventions or managements that after combining together creates a great impact to our clients on mechanical ventilator. This are the following. We have hand hygiene. Elevation of head to 30 to 45 degrees is included. Suction technique. Ventilator management. And oral care. We all know that the single most cost-effective way of preventing the spread of infection is no other than performing proper hand hygiene. This is supported by various studies. According to research compliance on proper hand hygiene creates significant decreased on ventilator-associated pneumonia among patients admitted at intensive care units on ventilator support. The next management as part of that bundle is the head elevation for about 30 to 45 degrees. Patient position is vital in ensuring ventilator-associated pneumonia prevention. According to research, mechanical ventilator-assisted patients that are maintained head elevate particularly on 30 to 45 angle. Decreased cases of acquiring ventilator pneumonia. Proper head elevation secretion from collecting from subglottic area. It also prevent aspiration of fluid from patient's stomach. The next care bundle component is our suction technique. Under this, we need to understand that there is no specific schedule needs to be considered when it comes to suctioning. We need to perform proper suctioning when there is a clear indication. And what are this? You need to immediately suction the patient. When the there is an increase or visible secretions. Second, suction the patient when desaturation occurs. Desaturation might be an indication that endotracheal tubes are clogged due to accumulation of secretions. Lastly, suction the patient. If there is a coarse breath sounds. Having coarse breath sounds might be an indication that lung functioning was disrupted due to multiple underlying reasons. Such as Adult Respiratory Distress Syndrome or ARDS Asthma Pulmonary Edema And a lot more forward. The next thing that we need to ensure is that instilling saline directly into endotracheal tube is not recommended. Infusing or injecting saline on endotracheal tube is considered and bygone practice. This old practices was performed before setting the idea that IT will help to soften the secretions. But this is a wrong implication. Instilling saline as a practice can cause aspiration and leads lung infection once fluid pass through our patient's lungs. The best thing to do for the ET not to clog. Healthcare workers needs to ensure that suctioning with clear indication was performed. Again, do not do this. Understand? Next, in preventing VAP under our suction technique. It is important to separate suction equipment specifically patient oral and endotracheal tube suction tips. Giving emphasis on suction tips we need to take note and apply the following. 1. Use two separate suction tubing for oral and ET tube. 2. Ideally, change suction tips every use both for oral and ET tube. 3. Maintain suction tips dry and clean. 4. Use sterile saline in suctioning. It is recommended for us to use wide mouth container or glass in pouring sterile saline. In addition, ensure that saline container is clean, dry and new. Next in line to VAP bundles. The next management as part of VAP bundle is the ventilator management. The device or even the machine itself is important to consider because if ignored its existence this may lead to our device-related infection. This are the things needs to be considered. First. And this is vital. We need to change the ventilator circuits only when it is visibly soiled. Or. The circuit is malfunctioning or damaged. Second. We need to maintain the closed system approach. Again is golden rule. In prevention and control of infection. The more that we expose the cytum the more we attract and allow the microorganisms and bacteria to enter. Third, condensation shall be drained away from the patient. This management prevent the contaminated fluids backflow to patient. 
And lastly, mechanical ventilators must be clean, disinfect and sterilize without fail. And this must be stored properly. All respiratory equipments must be provided by dedicated storage area. In addition, as healthcare worker we need to ensure that all delivered ventilator support and the management that will complete the part of the whole for our ventilator associated infection is oral care. Of course, because device such as endotracheal tube was usually placed in our patient's mouth and giving emphasis on how we will prevent infection is a must. As healthcare workers the things that we need to ensure and perform are the following. One of the key elements is we need to clean patient's oral mucosa using antiseptic solution. Oral cleansing with chlorhexidine 0.12% twice daily is recommended. According to research, ICU patients on a sighted ventilation via endotracheal tube. When oral care was performed using 0.12% solution of chlorhexidine, significant decreased on ventilator associated rate was determined. Next, during oral care it is also important that we able to remove biofilm to prevent bacterial colonization that leads to lung infection. Lastly, we need to apply moisturizer to patients oral mucosa and lips to keep tissue moisted as needed. You can never go wrong. When you combine hygiene and proper maintenance. Just to review what are the management needed that considered and included in our ventilator associate pneumonia bundles of care. Let's have some review. We have hand hygiene, head of bed elevation 30 to 45 degrees angle, suctioning technique, ventilator management, and oral care. Again remember to combine all of this to create a great impact as whole. Thank you.